Welcome to Contemplation with Wendy. I'm Wendy Inlow, the Director of Adult Faith Formation at Our Lady of the Holy Rosary Catholic Church. And once again, we will be praying using Ignatian Contemplation and looking at the Gospel through a contemporary lens this time and just using our imagination. So uh, we will be using the parable of the ten virgins in Matthew chapter 25. And I just invite you to settle in, uh, listen, um, and just open your heart and your mind to the Holy Spirit and let God use your imagination to see how this gospel might apply to your life today. So Jesus is telling this parable to his disciples. And he began by saying that the kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps out and went to meet the bridegroom. So we know that the ten virgins, what we would call today, are bridesmaids in a wedding. So the bride has chosen these bridesmaids and they will escort the groom to, to the bride. And so five of the, um, of the virgins were foolish and Jesus tells us five of them were wise. So the foolish ones, um, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them. So uh, just kind of imagine the, um, the bridesmaids and they're in this room and they're waiting. They're waiting for the bridegroom to come and just, you know, close your eyes and look around. What does the room look like? Um, are there soft, comf comfy couches and, and chairs? Are there pillows on the floor? Um, and what are, what are the bridesmaids doing? Are they chatting? Are they um, looking at their phones? Are they um, um, taking selfies and posting them to Instagram and Snapchat? And um, are some of them uh, texting their, their friends and sharing the excitement of the day and posting pictures? Um, so what, what all are the, are the virgins doing? What are the bridesmaids doing as they await the bridegroom? Um, and we, we hear Jesus say that the foolish ones didn't bring any oil with them. So, um, you know, the foolish ones in our story, they, they didn't charge their batteries. <laughs> you know, they didn't bring extra batteries with them. They were really busy um, looking at themselves and, and the things of this world. They were looking on the internet. Um, and the bridegroom, he was, he was long delayed, and he, um, it took him a while to get there. So they became drowsy. They fell asleep. It was late. They'd been partying and waiting all day, you know, having a good time. So when midnight came around, um, they were sleeping, and one of the um, attendants came and said, Behold, uh, behold the, the bridegroom. Come out and meet him. So all the all of the virgins got excited. You know, they got up, and Jesus uh, says that they they trim their lamps. So in our story, the virgins are uh, they're turning on their cell phones. They're they're getting ready to go, um, and they're going on a journey uh, to the to the bridegroom. And they need light. It's dark outside. They're um, being taken on a path, so they set out, and the, um, the wise virgins had their lamps on from their flashlight of their phone, and they could see, they could see the, the path in front of them. But the foolish ones, they discovered that their battery had run out. <laughs> their flashlight no longer worked. They didn't have light to light the way to follow the bridegroom. So they ask, they ask the, uh, the wise uh, virgins, can you, can you loan us some of your batteries? And they said, no, ours might run out too. So we, we, we came prepared. You'll have to go and find your own. So the foolish virgins had to leave, and they had to go into town and, and find a store to buy more batteries. 
or to sit and wait until there's charge. They, they weren't prepared. They weren't able to follow the bridegroom. So um, as they went off, the, um, the wise virgins followed, followed the bridegroom. You know, they came to the point where they saw him and they followed him and they were ready. So they went into the wedding feast uh, with him. And as they went in, all of the, the wise virgins went into the, to the kingdom of heaven and they see the bridegroom, Jesus, lock the door. And so when the, the foolish virgins came back, the door was locked. So they knock on the door and they say, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. We made our way back. And he says, um, amen, I say to you, I do not know you. And we know that from other, you know, gospel parables, that means that, you know, they didn't spend time with the bridegroom. Yeah, he knew them because he, he created them, right? But did they know him? You know, was he prepared to acknowledge them? Did they, um, did they spend time with Jesus in prayer? Did they spend time uh, serving the poor? Did they see Christ in their neighbor? Or were they too busy looking at the world and worldly things? Did they visit the sick? Did they have time to work in the Full of Grace Cafe? Did they write letters to the prisoners? You know, all of these, all of these ways that Christ invites us to visit with him each and every day. And so I invite you now to look at your own life. Spend a few minutes looking at, am I like the wise virgins? Am I preparing myself for the kingdom of God? Or do I identify, identify with the foolish virgins, those who were concerned with worldly things instead of the kingdom of God? So at the end, Jesus tells us to stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. Amen.